folks, I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to another shorty. Yes, we're diving into the realms of interactive entertainment once more. Only, we're not quite done with the Lego theme that's been running through these past few episodes, because today we'll be taking a look at the video game adaptations of the Lego Movie 2 and the Lego Ninjago Movie. Released in 2019 and 2017 respectively, these two games are based on their respective movies, much as the LEGO Movie game was based on its respective movie. But these two are radically different, and much, much bigger. So let's dive in and take a closer look at these games. The LEGO Movie 2 game is very much in the vein of its contemporary, LEGO Worlds, only with a lot less destructible world. Still, you get 16 huge levels over 3 systems, one of which is DLC, and dozens of side missions, and even a massive screen of every item you've picked up so far, not to mention the special bricks that are also available, which improve upon certain powers, like an infinite rocket pack allowing you to rocket to the highest heights, and a top hat, allowing you to collect twice as many points off every stud. This is a much more classic styled LEGO video game, with classic story levels and open hub worlds, as were the style as the LEGO collect em up genre evolved. There are only 8 story levels, though these are fleshed out with battle arenas, challenging you to face down a series of increasingly powerful opponents and reach a set stud score target. And of course, the story levels are only half the game, the other half being the 8 locations, hub levels standing in for the free play option, filled with their own collectibles, gold bricks, superpower scrolls, and of course Lego stud currency. They're certainly twists on the classic formula, but you know what? I'm going to put them into my house of love. While the Lego Ninjago movie was somewhat of a disappointment, the Lego Ninjago movie video game fleshes out the story to a respectable length and reimagines somewhat the awakening of the SNF's Ninjago powers, introducing you gradually to these abilities over the course of the story. This adds playability, and by necessity you'll need to use all of the ninja of the SNF to complete your objectives or collect that last chest. What really marks this game above the LEGO Movie game though, is the size of these locations, being at least an order of magnitude larger than that game's hub levels, though one unwelcome inclusion is the blind bag method of purchasing new characters, giving you no control over which of the 102 characters you get at any one point. This random element is carried over into the LEGO Movie 2 video game, where characters, items and other sundries such as stickers are all unlocked by collecting glowing relics and opening them in a shower of light and sound. Even these relic items themselves can be uncovered in mega relics, which also include the coveted red items. It was a source of frustration to me that if only the random number gods were on my side I could finally get that infinite jetpack and the game would be mine. Apart from that though, the levels in the LEGO Movie 2 game are varied in size ranging from the mid-sized Disharmony City of the DLC pack to the massive, if somewhat empty by design, Apocalypse Berg. And there are 205 characters in total to collect, even if most of them you might select once and then forget about completely. It's not all good news though, as there are no story levels as such, the story being told through Wild Styles narration, which again removes the whole meta-narrative of the movies. This can be traced back to the influence of LEGO Worlds, which this game very much resembles, not least in the more involved building mechanic. And I have to note the unskippable cutscenes, not least the introductory scene, which must play out in full every time you start the game. Thankfully, the LEGO Ninjago movie game, and subsequently LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, reintroduced skippable cutscenes. Overall then, while the movies are little more than forgettable popcorn entertainment, these games are far more interesting to me, appealing to my collect-em-up sensibilities, filling out, or at least padding out, 
a couple of 90-ish minute movies to a respectable game length. And most importantly, they feel like games in their own right, rather than the rushed tie-in of the original LEGO movie game. So yes, everything is a lot closer to awesome with these LEGO movie themed video games. I've been Funky Monkey, and you've been watching another House of Love shorty. So long! Hey folks, Funky again. If you liked the video, you know where that button is. But why not consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell? And if you want to be extra awesome, you can check out my crowdfunding links. Funding me grants access to the VIP channel in my Discord server, but there's still plenty of fun in general. And if you're not fussed about any of it, that's okay too. So long! Thank you.